the night of Jesus' birth. Twas the night of Jesus' birth, when all through the town, not a creature was stirring, not even a cow. The animals were munching in their stables, where they hoped that the Savior would soon be there. The sheep were nestled down for the night, while the shepherds made sure that all was just right. Everyone thought that it was going to be the same as every other boring Bethlehem day. When out of the sky, there arose such a light. The shepherds couldn't even look cause the light was so bright. There was a beautiful angel up in the sky. The shepherds just couldn't figure out why. The shepherds were scared and they covered their eyes. The angel told them in the manger their lives. A baby, the Savior, was born tonight in the town of David, which was nearby. The shepherds went home to where the baby lay. They knew they would see the Savior this day. More rapid than eagles, they ran so fast to see the Savior. They didn't want to be last. Now peace, now joy, now everlasting life. Oh goodness, oh love, God's one and only Son. To the city of Bethlehem, the door of the state, let's hurry now and be on our way. From the dry desert sand, the magic they came, following a star that didn't know its name. So over the dawns they came from the east, this long journey, they didn't mind it of at least. And then in a twinkling, the star just stopped. So in each door, they simply popped. To wonder about Christ's child born today in the city of Bethlehem, so far away. They saw his mother sitting by his bed with Joseph softly rubbing his sweet head. Their hearts were both filled with great joy of the birth of this very special boy. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimple, how merry. His cheeks, like roses. His nose, like a cherry. As his visitors are, he simply laid. On his mouth, there developed a smile as though he wanted them to stay a while. He had a sweet face and a little old tummy. He kept looking up and smiling at his mommy. It truly was a silent night in that stable. And they laughed to themselves, the ones that were able. Each couldn't believe where he was. This is so much better than meeting Santa Claus. They spoke not a word, but wanted to give more than they had, but they could only adore. The wise men gave gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and the animals wrapped him up in their fur. As they all left that place, so holy and mild, they couldn't do anything but smile. They had just seen the Savior, Christ the Child. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you.
Merry Christmas, everyone.